Welcome to the Wednesday, October 3rd, 2012 edition of Ernerberry's Daily Video, sponsored by Moark Eggs. In today's video, we explore the true impact of the rising corn prices on the turkey industry. And later, frozen tilapia prices hit a two-year low as July imports surge. Now let's go to markets with your host, Jamie Chadwick. Jack Link's Beef Jerky announced plans to purchase a packaged meat snack products manufacturing plant in Bellevue, Nebraska. Jack Link said the purchase of this plant, owned by Skylark Meats, will allow it to increase production capacity to meet growing consumer demand. The transaction is expected to close at the end of October and terms of the deal were not disclosed. The Bellevue plant is a current co-packaging producer of some of Jack Link's meat snack products and the company plans to retain management and employees at the Nebraska plant. For more on Jack Link's latest purchase and for other news in the food service industry, head over to foodmarket.com. Now here's Erner Berry poultry market reporter James Serpico analyzing how other factors other than rising corn prices have influenced turkey production in 2012. Rarely does a day go by when the topic of feed prices, particularly corn, doesn't come up in conversation. Most often it's followed by a groan, a sigh, or some other audible form of disgust, quickly followed up by a question involving the potential for another round of production cutbacks. Taking a look at a comparative chart, there seems to be little direct relationship to lower trending egg sets and the current status of corn values. The 2012 trend line for second and third quarter egg sets isn't all that different than last year's. Although it is going down, lower egg sets are standard fare for the final four or five months of any year due to the timing of demand and the fact that the egg set and the poults placed in September and October represent turkeys coming to slaughter in the first quarter of the following year, historically the low point for turkey demand. So although no one can really dispute that corn prices are having some impact on production decisions, it is not immediately apparent in the Hatch Report. So as one industry observer correctly commentated, as much as the industry seems to complain about feed costs, the actual changes in production seem to be driven more by factors such as competitive meat pricing, seasonable demand, and total supply on hand. Six months from now, when we revisit the correlation, we may well perceive some recognizable influence. But for now, when it comes to cutbacks and corn, there's no rhyme or reason. Thanks, James. To wrap up today's video, Seafood.com news writer Michael Ramsing looks at two-year low prices in the frozen tilapia market as imports surged in July. Frozen tilapia prices are averaging two-year lows as U.S. imports surged in July. According to Erner Berry's September 2012 Aquaculture Insiders report, imports of frozen tilapia fillets in July totaled 32 million pounds, up 70% versus the same month a year ago. Furthermore, 2012 year-to-date imports have reached 210 million pounds through July, up 43.4% from the same time a year ago when imports sold 146 million pounds. This influx in imports has industry insiders reporting fully adequate U.S. inventories, spurring discounts in 2012. According to Ernerberry quotations of 3 to 5 ounce frozen tilapia fillets, the average price in September was reported at $1.90 per pound, down 13% from the start of 2012. In fact, this is the lowest average price since July 2010, when prices also averaged $1.90 per pound. However, importers have started to report rising replacement costs from overseas, even though prices in the U.S. remain relatively low. This situation has caused some importers to begin testing the market and raise asking prices without much of a positive response. At the moment, the market is generally steady. For a complete look at the frozen tilapia market, check out Erner Berry's newly revamped Aquaculture Insiders report by heading over to Comtel and clicking Import Export under the Seafood tab. Thanks, Michael. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. This broadcast is sponsored by Moark Eggs. For more than 50 years, Moark has grown their business with a commitment to adding real value to their products and services, providing old-fashioned customer service that is tested and proven to meet your needs. Visit them online at www.moarkllc.com or give them a call at 866-757-EGGS.